How's it going YouTube? Mullet Bernardi here with another YouTube video and in today's video we are talking about these folks right here, Trace Labs. Now many of you that subscribe to me knows what Trace Labs is but a TLDR, I'll let the queen of the show actually tell you all about Trace Labs and why we're making this video. Go for it. What do you want me to talk about? <laughs> What's Trace Labs? Oh, I, I don't know how to describe it. Trace Labs is a CTF, capture the flag, where you use OSINT to find missing people. I could have, oh yeah. <laughs> I could have said that. It's her I first. I wanted it more in depth. No, it, it's, it's her first time on camera. No, it's not. It's Spe well, speaking, final... speaking. I don't like being on camera. So Malware Fox right here, why are you on this video today? What did you do this past weekend with the Trace Labs OSINT CTF at DEF CON? Why... Are you on camera right now? What did you do? What did you win? Well, well, well. I won most valuable OSINT. Whoa. What Whoa. Is that? What does that mean? What does that mean? It means that you submitted enough evidence to potentially close a case. Mm. You found some really valuable. Now, I posted about this, and I do not want to get this twisted. I was not the one to find this child it was her she was the one that found it she based i all i did was i put things on a google doc that's all i did but they gave the was it mvo to the whole team or black badge is yeah. it the same i don't know if they it's the gave, same thing they know it's not the same thing the uh, trace labs black badge is different from the trace labs mvo i would arguably say that the mvo has more clout than any other badge or any other award um but I don't get free CTFs for life. But that's fine because Trace Labs, I will gladly give you my money every year because y'all do good stuff. So, uh, and I, th I think if I have people on, we could probably have like a dual mic setup. But this house is a little small for that. This house is very small. Yeah, we can't have like a dual. We have two more than one mic, but we can't just do that right now. So anyways, just at a high level, what you're comfortable talking about. And, and for those that participate in this la uh, latest Trace Lab CTF, a lot of you found this flag, but you weren't awarded points because it didn't paint a full picture. The reason why we got MVO is because we completely painted the picture. When I say we, I mean her. Uh, so I, I just, I think team. She painted the full picture. So tell us about, I mean, don't get into specifics, but what did you do to find this initial flag and how did you you know, kind of pivot to the point where you're like, holy shit, this is like actually like happening right now. Yeah. So that's a great question. When you are looking for young people, I think your most valuable initial resource is, is that going? No, I'm turning up the game because oh. you're talking quiet. I didn't realize I'm talking quiet. I'm sorry. I think the most valuable resource when you are trying to locate young people is going to be social media. So you want to start with your old reliables, which are Facebook and Instagram. Um, I started with Facebook and that happened to be my jackpot. So what I did is I looked up this individual's name. Um, and although they did not have a Facebook account, I was able to find posts about them and missing people's groups on Facebook. If you've done a Trace Labs OSINT challenge before or just OSINT on anybody um, who has been missing, um, it's very common to find people's profiles on Facebook with like a little description of them like please help find this person um, so I was scrolling through those posts and I happened to find one where a supposed family member commented and said hey this person is safe they're back home now um, and I found that and that seemed a little interesting to me um, because I don't feel like just a random person would say that so I dug into that more and I went through more missing persons posts for that person. And I found that that family member commented again. And they said, hey, this person is home. I'm sharing a photo of them. I'm tagging another family member that knows them. So I said, hmm, because I looked through this family member's profile as well. And it was pretty, um, I guess, absent. They didn't have a lot of information about themselves on there, um, which is great. You should do that if you have a social media profile. Um, you should at least lock it down to your friends. 
And that's what this person did. Um, but the other family member that they tagged, not so much. Um, I was able to go through their profile and they had happened to tag some recent photos of themselves. And oh, I forgot to say, they posted the photo of the missing person and it was like a recent photo shoot that they did. And they looped in another family member. Um, and the other family member had a photo shoot done in the same location around the same time. So I'm thinking, hmm, that's interesting. And they tagged the photographer of that photo. So I went to that photographer's page and went through her photos. Because, of course, photographers' pages are going to be very public. They want publicity for their photos. So I scrolled down and lo and behold, I found this missing person's photos. Um, there were several of them. And, um, yeah, they looked very recent. The person looked older in the photo. So I was like, great, great. This is awesome. Um, let me try and find this person's Instagram to see if they tagged this missing person in photos. So I was able to look up the uh, photographer's Facebook, or not Facebook, their Instagram page, um, and went through their photos on there. And they didn't have the photo that I found initially on their Instagram but when I went through their highlight reel on their uh, Instagram account that person was tagged in several photos because the photographer was also a family member um and yeah they tagged their Instagram account they were very recent videos of them like enjoying themselves in national parks like going camping things like that so this person is alive and well they're kicking it this was very recent I was also able to go through some other photos on that photographer's account the missing person had commented like as of recent like a couple days yeah like a like a few days ago now but yeah so they are most definitely alive and well so we were able to just take screenshot 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 and compile those all together and that's where Cody came in and put them on a Google Doc and submitted all of that um, and basically traced out the steps. Yeah, the, the big piece I think that a lot of people um, that submitted this flag didn't get was the everyone found that um, that Facebook account that really didn't have a name. It wasn't really active. So a lot of people found that account and then they just jumped straight to um, the conclusion. Of the con they, they jumped straight to. Uh, like the Instagram page. So they, they might have went through all the steps, but they didn't document it. I don't even think people got the Instagram page. I think a lot of people stopped at finding that family member's Facebook and being like, oh, this person is vouching, saying that this missing person is alive. And they probably stopped at that, which, again, was a very common flag for a lot of people. It really was not hard to find. Um, but going through and digging deeper and going to other family members profiles being able to verify them as related to this missing person then again like getting to the instagram and then eventually finding the missing person's instagram through the photographer's account like you had to go in deep to get all of these things and i think a lot of people stopped far before that yeah and tying it all together uh, is definitely important so i think she'll be writing an article just kind of detailing all of this we'll probably use a tool i can assist you with i don't know if you use it, a tool to basically draw like visualize everything to kind of how all this intel kind of piece together but um i'll say like we didn't use it i don't know if you use any tools but i don't use tools when i do um trace labs mm -hmm. um like i'll the two, I'll use tools for things like domains and stuff like that, but really, we really hit for the high level um, scoring points. Uh, you know, you, you could get those like friends ones pretty easily, but it's, like yeah, it's it's very easy to farm points for Trace Labs ETFs by going through um, like a relative's friends list and finding everybody with the same last name. It is so easy to farm for small amounts of points. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's all good intel. Because uh, so, like like the uh, founder of Trace Labs says, sometimes no one's working on these cases. So just getting that delivered to uh, law enforcement is, it already puts them a few steps ahead. But uh, yeah, we, we really focus on social media. Um, and then check, and depend, it's all dependent on the country too. So like this person was US, US based, but you know, you have people in Australia Mexico and all that. So you want to really tailor your 
research to what's popular in that country. Like mm-hmm. Facebook, um, I can't say if it's popular or not in like Russia, but I could say VK is. So I would focus my Intel search on VK or uh, like in the U.S. Some, I mean, as you can tell, if you watch a lot of my videos, I'm really focused on the U.S. because that's where I'm from. That's kind of the OSINT that I grew up on and you as well. Uh, so we know like Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, Via, Visco, VS, whatever that photo sharing app is. Like we know those are the popular ones. Um, but yeah, we just want to get this video uh, made. I wanted Michaela to explain kind of her thought process because it's pretty badass that you got MVO and this is what your third trace lab, second trace labs. Mm, it's my fourth trace lab. Fourth one. Okay. <laughs> I'm losing count. I don't know how many I've done, but yeah, we got MVO right here. I'm just honorary MVO because we're on, I was on the same team, but this is the latest trace labs MVO right here. Me. So anyways that is it for this video if y'all enjoy content like this please hit the like button and thumbs up button thumbs up button and hit the sub subscribe button yeah <laughs> hit the thumbs up button hit the subscribe button if now i like i said it that way like i i always have like a rhythm uh if you want to get more content like this please hit the thumbs up button hit the subscribe button with what? The bell notification enabled so you get notified anytime I post a new video. Because you don't watch my. I hear you record them. Anyways, that's it for this video. Y'all take care. Goodbye.